Okay, something interesting is happening with Blender. I think the Blender Foundation is trying to get rid of add-ons or at least paid add-ons. And you can see this with the latest release of Blender. So if you go to blender.org and download Blender 4.2, you'll see that there is something missing here and that is the add-ons section. I think in Blender 4.0, Blender extensions were introduced, but I thought extensions were going to be a completely different thing from add-ons. My thought was that there would be add-ons and extensions as separate things, but it seems they're trying to replace add-ons completely with extensions, which would not be that bad because if you look at this, they seem to be doing the same thing, except uh, you have to download the extensions on blender.org repository which would not be bad this would be it you can upload your own add-on and it will be downloadable directly within blender so if you look at version let's say blender 4.1 here if you go to the preferences edit preferences you see the add-ons option if you click on the install it takes you directly to your download directory so that you can install the add-on the way we have we have been doing it for years but now if you look at what they have done to 4.2 you can see the add-on section has been replaced by extensions now you can still install add-ons if you go up here you can see it has been hidden in a small icon you wouldn't be able to find it if you didn't know what you were looking for so to install the normal add-ons you have to go to this option here install legacy add-on if you want to install add-ons directly from your computer or from different marketplaces like blender market there are many discussions going on on twitter and other community websites like the Blender community. I like this post. I'm going to be leaving links in the description if you want to go in and check out some of these comments and uh, discussions. One of the reasons why Blender is deciding to replace add-ons with extensions is that add-ons usually create functionality that should have been in Blender by default. And you know, Blender is built by the community. So when it lacks functionality somewhere, the foundation relies on the community to volunteer their time and their skills to develop that functionality. But because add-ons have a potential to make a lot of money, these volunteers, community developers, opt to make add-ons and sell them at a price. This itself would not be a problem, but the issue is that then Blender has no way of motivating these community developers to contribute to Blender's development. And since Blender is a tool that is supposed to be open and accessible by everyone, this creates a subset of users or artists. Artists who can afford add-ons are able to use Blender with more functionality than artists who can't afford these add-ons. So I think Blender's move to, to cap this they are introducing extensions and maybe planning to i can't confirm this but it seems like they are moving in the direction of getting rid of add-ons especially add-ons that are known directly from the blenders repository now this would not be a problem but the issue is that add-on development takes a lot of resources takes a lot of time and a lot of work a lot of experience so marketplaces like blender market have created this incentive to developers to keep updating the add-ons they create and add new functionality in Blender, like you have been seeing add-ons after add-ons, bringing totally new features that we would never have gotten in Blender. So without that incentive of a developer being able to sell their work, their product on a marketplace like this, I think we, we might get a few add-ons uploaded on this repository. These are going to be very, very basic add-ons, like the add-ons that have always been shipped with Blender. I bet most of you rarely use any of these inbuilt add-ons. They don't really give you any exceptional functionality that you're not getting without those add-ons. In contrast to add-ons you find on sites like Blender Market, this completely change how we use Blender. And again, I'm just speculating here. I'm not sure if this is the direction Blender is trying to take. It would be very, very disappointing if that's the case, uh, because we're going to lose out quite a lot of functionality if that ends up being uh, the case. Right now, if you download 4.0, 4.2 you will not find the add-ons section here that to me shows that the blender organization is trying to just get rid of the paid add-ons so that we can only use free and open source add-ons from the blender repository and there are just a lot of issues with doing something like this and uh, like 
are there any file limitations because we have seen add-ons that are just massive libraries something like vdb lab is a library of of smoke simulations and uh, this can be really really large files uh something like uh botanical which is a library of which is a collection of vegetation and trees those trees and textures can be quite large i think but botanic ends up being about 5 gb in size when you download it because of all the necessary assets that come with it so i'm, I'm not sure how the hosting of these add-ons would, would work or if there there is going to be a file size limitation and uh, yes yeah, so uh i don't know i can agree with most of the artists that this is not the right direction uh, for blender yeah i'll keep you posted and updated and see wh where things go i'm going to be leaving links to all the different discussions that are going on and i'll see you in the next video